you could see lower property taxes. If Nebraska Governor Pete Ricketts gets his way, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Brandi Peterson. Governor Ricketts outlined his budget plans today in his first State of the State address. A key part, $120 million in property tax relief, plus $56 million in reforms for the troubled Department of Corrections. Finally, less of an increase in spending your tax dollars. With our 6 o'clock big story, KATV News Watch Evans Nicole Goodrich joins us live from our Capitol Bureau. Governor Pete Ricketts talked job growth reform and mostly cutting taxes, specifically property taxes and income taxes on military retirement benefits. Governor Ricketts also laid out a blueprint for how lawmakers can accomplish this, mostly by slowing the increase in government spending. We must reduce taxes. Taxes take center stage Thursday for Governor Pete Ricketts in his first state of the state address. One consistent message that I have heard in every corner of the state, property taxes are too high. The governor plans to add $120 million to the property tax credit relief fund over the next two years. Over the next three years, he'll decrease agriculture valuations by 10 percent. When it comes to spending your tax dollars, Ricketts says he'll ask for a 3 percent increase. That's about half of the percentage of growth in the last budget. We will fund our priorities, but in a way that is sustainable. The top priority for the governor, $56 million in reforms to the Department of Corrections. He says the amount could expand under the incoming director, Scott Frakes. This budget leaves room to address the immediate needs that we have in corrections. The Department of Health and Human Services will also see a new leader once a search is finished and a 2% annual increase in its service provider rates, which would mean more money for foster families. State government needs to work for the children who are in our, the care of the state, for the individuals who are in our facilities or who reply, or rely on government services. And state senators on both sides of the aisle like what the governor plans to do. What he has put forward is a, a very responsible way for us to move forward as a state. I like the tone, and I think what he's proposing is a challenge, but reasonable. The governor also talked about spending $250,000 per year on a pilot program for a public-private partnership in career and vocational education. With a focus on military families, the governor wants more tax relief, $23 million of it, and he wants to add 240,000 more dollars to tuition assistance for National Guard members. And Governor Ricketts wants to accomplish all of this without dipping into the state's cash reserves. All right, Nicole Goodrich reporting live. Thanks.